Yo, what's going on? You should be seeing this one, Dexter Major. I think you can hear back for um a close call. I don't have a Wi-Fi an OU Wi-Fi battle on Sun and Moon. Um, so if the quality is not the best on this, I tried to get like the outlines and stuff. Although it might be a little bit choppy, I'm still working on that. Trying to get out the right settings and stuff. But um, yeah, we have a battle here. This is a uh, Greg. Make sure to check him out and um, his YouTube and Twitter will be in the description below. Um, but yeah, let's hop right into it. Um, he had a very, very scary team. He had the, um, uh, the Hydreigon, the Porygon 2, or the Porygon 3, the Metagross, the Metamorphon, the Tapu Koko, and the, um, Delmars. And then I had the Alola Melek, um, Gastrodon, Clefable, um, Skarmory, Kamo'o, and the Nihilio. Now, I laid with Alola Melek, but just missed Tapu Koko. Um, that's what I thought the best play would be, so I just did that. So, uh, we're just gonna hop right into this here. Good job, by Greed. He, but he's gonna lead off with the Hedrill. I'm probably predicting me to lead off with it. Um, I decided here that I did not want to stay in, so I decided to swap here. Um, my best swap I felt like would have been the, um, the Hedrill. Or not the to Clefable, so I swap into Clefable and he goes for a taunt. So now I can't do anything, I can only get a moon blast, which is what I choose to do here. No, 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 that's not what happens. Uh, I predict him to go into um, the Metagross and I go into a Rolling Mare. Um, and he swaps out here into Hydreigon and I proceed to drop in the Scar. Like, it's a very, very heavily swamp game here. It's a very long game. I think it's like 40 or 10. Um, here I swap out back into Clefable because I know there's not much he can do to me other than maybe Flash Cannon. Um, he goes for a taunt on that. Um, he swaps here into Metamorphine as I just go for a Moonblast here to get off damage. I'm just going to do a clear amount a little under half. Um, I'm gonna go into Scar where he sets up his rocks here, and then I decide that I'm gonna set up Spike because whenever I was looking at his team, I didn't see any um, heavy move, but um, I didn't know that that might skip Zap instead. I'm gonna set the Spike, he's gonna let a copy. I'm gonna set up. Um, and then he is going to go for another, or he's going to go on Hydreigon as I set up another wave of spikes here. Um, because I thought like I didn't really need Skarmory for much either, so and plus I had the Sturdy. Um, he's going for Taunt as I go for Whirlwind. I completely forgot about Taunt for some reason, and he's used it like three times. Or no, I go for Reef actually. I think that's what it said. But, yeah, I have to swap into Clef, as he predicts that he goes for another con. Um, I decided to go for a Moonblast here, and he decided to go into his Delma. He's gonna take off Spice advantage, and he's gonna get the Moonblast off. And that's gonna do a good amount with the special attack drop. It doesn't really matter since it's physical. Um, it, um, so I decided to go into Scarm since I was using both his stab as well as the spill type move um, that he may be using here. Um, as he just goes for the Shadow Claw, now I'm just gonna eat that up. I um, am physically defensive, so I'm just gonna eat it up very well here. Um, and now I go for a Reef here. And then for this right here is where I find out that. Um, that he just rapid spin. So he goes for it. He goes for the tip layer spike there for that. Um, and I here just decide that I can just set up no way with his spikes, even if he wants to just uh, spin. Um, even if he stays in rapid spin, like, 
Big nothing here in the evening. Back at that, except for no red spikes. I just walked to the top of here. I just had to go into um, Marowak because that's like the best walking. Um, unless he has like a hidden power. Um, so I go into a little Marowak and some Thunderbolt. So I'm getting a lightning rod. Although I am physical, but I am mean at least. I decided to go for damage because I died to Mega Spray. So I go straight for the Flare Blitz. Um, as he goes into the Hydreigon, he's probably thinking of maybe Q, although it was the best uh, play just overall because he does really good broken stats and he's able to get Q. I'm going to go for it and I'm going to do a lot. I'm going to do the 60%. And here I'm going to swap back into Clef here uh, just because Clef is my best option. Um, I don't think you have to still type mute at this point as he just goes for a boost. Now here. He swaps into Metagross. Um, I got Moon Blast. I have to say to go for Moon Blast for damage because that's the only thing my best play. I should have gone for the two layer, but it's okay, I guess. Um, I'm gonna do maybe 10 15 percent. Now I decided to go into Scarab because that just walks. I have to make Thunder since you can't get Thunderbolt. It doesn't punch you. I get Mega Rolls. I'm gonna get this one off here. I'm gonna go for the Zen. Oh, he's gonna go for the Zen headbutt. Um, you know, an uh, okay amount of damage, but I can just easily lift it off. Now, here I decided that he's probably gonna swap in a Tapu here. So, my best play would be to go for the Whirlwind. So, as he's swapping a Tapu, I go for the Whirlwind. Here we go, I go for the whirlwind. And he's going to go into his dumb rank. That's great, it's going to get dragged out if that takes spike damage. And I have to say to go for a boost here. Um, with no reason to go for spikes since he's probably just going to, you know, set it. I go for rapid spin here. He's, um, what he chooses to go for here, he has to go for the rapid spin. And I'm going to walk here into the lower mirror. No, he's going to go on the top of here. As I go for um, spikes. And then I just decide to go into my lower mirror here. As he thunderbolts. Because, you know, Royal Marowak is honestly just the best Tapu counter, other than, I guess, just Tapu Fini. Um, and he's going to swap out here. And I'm, he's going to go into Hydreigon as I went for the Flare Blitz to get off damage. Um, and I'm going to do a clean 60-75%. And here I decided to let myself go down because if I were to swap, um, I would die to spikes and a uh, lot. So no reason to let me down. So he's just gonna go for Dark Wolf and kill me here. Um, I just decided, even though he's gonna use Scarf and I can have speed, and I decided to go out and get my hail. And I go straight up for the Power Gym because uh, I can't go for. Sludge Wave because of this thing. So I go for the Power Gym. He's going to take Spike damage as he swaps into Mega Metagross. And I'm going to do a clean, you know, 20%. Um, here I just decided to swap into um, Skarmory, but he's going to swap here into his Dumb Rank. He's going to take more Spike damage. Um, there we go. I'm going to go on to Ridley here. Take stealth rock damage, and I'm gonna get my leftovers off. And here, I just decided that he's probably just gonna rapid spin and spike away, so why not just whirlwind out? Whirlwind, just whirlwind him out here. Um, so I'm gonna whirlwind. He's gonna go into his Hydreigon. 
and I just decided here to go for the attack. Kill this thing, I forgot about Reese, which didn't really matter in the end, but I decided to go for the attack here as he reached up. Um, so I decided to go for the steel one because I can't get Iron Head yet. Um, it's for a pathogen. So I just go for the steel one. I do an okay note. I just decided to go for spikes here as uh, he goes for the taunt. So I'm not going to get anything done this turn. And I just decided to swap here into Microfable just the best way for that as he actually predicts that and goes into the second metal door. Um, and he makes a lot of good plays. He decided to swap out into the top of Cocoa predicting me to go into Skarm here. Um, and because I do not have my Lula Marowak, I don't really have anything really that I can um, do here. Um, and here I just decide I would go into Gashiro because that's my best bet here. Um, I thought this thing might be Scarf. Or because he never swapped his move, he just either attack and then he swapped immediately. So I thought he might be Scarf. Um, or, yeah, just Scarf or maybe his best. He goes to the pool here as I go into my Gastrodome. And it's not going to do any damage, obviously, because I'm ground type. And here's where he revokes that he's not Scarf and he's in fact going to Life Orb. He goes for the Grass Knot. I'm barely going to hit him. And. I'm gonna go for the Scald here. I'm gonna do a clean about maybe 40%. Um, I'm gonna let those damage. And I decide here to go for the uh, Protect or Scout, what he might want to do. He goes for the Dazzling Queen. And I decided to let myself go down here. Um, there's nothing to really need this thing for. I can't really recover on anything because a lot of this team is very fast. He decided just to go for the grass knot this time and uh, takes me down. Here I decided to go into Nihilo because I know I could probably roll a Thunderbolt because I just had good spadaf. Um, so I go out into Nihilo. And I predict his Metagross to come in and plus it's just a safe uh, play. I decided to go for HP Fire rather than. Uh, the uh, power gym. I'm gonna heal off and I am going to kill this many many girls here. Down he goes. I'm gonna get my beast boost and I get a special attack up. He's gonna go and do the top of Coco here. Um, he's gonna set up the electric sword. And here he just decides to go straight up for the Thunderbolt. Um, He's gonna get it off. It's gonna do a heck of a lot of damage. I'm gonna live because I have great speed up. He's gonna take a lot for damage. I'm gonna go for the sled wing. And he is going to go down. I now get my beast boost up again. Um, after it frames, it down it goes. And I'm gonna make beast boost plus two. Now, at this point, there's only one thing I need to fear. And that is. Um, Polygon feet because it's conversion. I already know it's scary because you get plus two and everything. It's just really annoying. And then adaptability on top of that, it's just not the best thing. I decide here to conserve my Nihilio because I'm fast and I can hit really hard. I believe I'm faster than everything on his team at this point. So I just decide to conserve it. I could go and scrum on the Ice Shard. And uh, he swaps here into Porygon Z as I. Um, he can get the down road up and uh, get the special attack, so he's not adaptability, although getting that special attack um, is very scary. I decided to go for layer spikes, although I shouldn't have whirlwinds this turn. Um, and here I decided to go for a whirlwind in case he went for the Z conversion, but he doesn't. He just goes straight up for the Thunderbolt and decides to take me out. I go down, he um, takes me out there. I decide to go into Koma O, and I feel like the only chance I have at this point is to set up a G Dance and Sweep. So he is going to reveal that he actually is Z Conversion. So he's going to go for Z Conversion. He's going to become a Electric type. 
and is now going to um, outspeed my entire team and just be able to kind of just run through my team at this point. I go for the defense. Um, I should have went for an attack, but I don't think it would have mattered anyway because I don't think a, a sky uppercut was like my strongest move. I, um, I don't think it would have killed with this plus two. Even though I am adding up my fold, I doubt it would have killed. Um, I'm sure it would have done a good amount of damage because he's electric type rather than uh, normal. But I did decide here to go into grid and go for a wish um, because I feel like maybe Nihiliga could have lived if I got my wish up here into it. But um, rather than it passing on to it, it just didn't give it to Nihilia. I'm going to go down here to a Thunderbolt. And I'm going to go into Nihilia here. And I just not going to get my wish, sadly. And so um, I'm going to go down to a tri attack here. Not like it mattered because um, he had Thunderbolt. Or he had an Ice Shard in the back. But down I go. Um... And that's going to be the game. He's going to win. Um, shout out to Greg. Uh, he played really, really well in this matchup. Um, go check him out. His Twitter and YouTube will be in the description below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, expect more in the future. And I want to make sure you like if you did enjoy it. And also, please subscribe. Otherwise, I'm going to show you guys later. Peace.